Hey guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to uh, export and import uh, drivers from uh, Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager, uh, SCCM, uh, also known as now, I believe it's Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Alright, so um, to begin with, I'm going to search for a driver package that uh, I need to uh, get exported off of my uh, old environment here so this is for a 3070 small form factor Dell's uh, 3070 small form factor I believe it's an optiplex so I'm gonna go ahead and um, right click on it go to export and uh, I'm gonna navigate to um, my uh, network share here driver pack store I'm gonna create a new folder call it 3070 SFF uh, be careful when creating um, folders and um, and naming uh, I'm gonna name it 3070 uh, parentheses SFF for small form factor uh, be careful when uh, creating folders um, and naming those folders and also when naming the zip file you don't want it to be too long uh, of a uh, of a file path or else it will not export correctly I think there's like a 200 character limit or something like that alright so once I got that go ahead and um, click uh, make sure these are checked export all associated drivers and export all content for the driver package and drivers click next and it's gonna go through and validate uh, to make sure that everything it needs to export is there so this may take a couple minutes here I'll go ahead and pause the video and come back when it's done alright so uh, looks like it finished reviewing uh, found whatever uh, device drivers it needed to so we'll go ahead and click next there's gonna be a confirmation uh, everything looks uh, legit and we will click next and let it roll uh, this process should take uh, a few more minutes so I'll uh, pause the video and I'll come back alright so it looks like it uh, completed here good sign so now we'll close out of this and um, I just so happen to have my other console on uh, my new environment open and speaking of which uh, you can open up uh, two different consoles uh, one can be tied to uh, your old environment and one can be tied to your new environment whenever you do this uh, whenever you do do this uh, migration import export all right, so uh, we'll come over here to our uh, new environment. Go to the software library, um, operating systems, driver packages, and this time we will do an import. And uh, I'll navigate to the location that we uh, had exported it at 3070. Uh, navigate to the zip file hit open and then uh, next and it will do its own uh, validation here again just to make sure uh, the drivers are legit um, hopefully these drivers are all signed drivers uh, I do not believe you're allowed to use unsigned drivers uh, if you do it uh, will cause a number of issues potentially so um, while it's doing its verification I'll go ahead and pause the video and uh, we'll come back when it's done alright so it's done now uh, it is done verifying so now it's going to uh, let us know um, if some of these drivers are already um, if it already has a copy of these drivers somewhere it gives us the option to ignore it uh, it's going to be a duplicate um, and we can overwrite or we can append I'll just leave it as a ignore um, 
and then at the very bottom it should tell us the new uh, uh, package that's going to create here uh, for the 3070 uh, Dell Optiplex small form factor so now that everything looks good we'll click next there's another final summary page to review and we will click next and <clears throat> And this process will take a while, so uh, I will pause the video and come back. All right, perfect. So uh, it's done. Um, it's done importing. We got all green checks here. Success. So we'll close that out, and we will uh, select that package here. Right-click on it. Go to properties. Uh, make sure uh, majority of this information is filled out. So. We got a, a version. We got the manufacturer. We got the model. We'll leave that all good. Uh, that's checked and that's set to high. So that looks all good. Perfect. So we will right click on it again and go to distribute content. So. Uh, it's uh, down here at the bottom here you see it's uh, it has not been distributed anywhere so now that's what we're gonna go ahead and do select our distribution points and click next and next and it'll go through and distribute so uh, that pretty much wraps it all up um, I don't expect any errors it distributing um, if there are errors we can um, talk about that in the comment section below let me know what you're experiencing but for the most part uh, this should distribute select successfully out to your distribution points and be ready to be uh, uh, deployed out all right hope you guys enjoyed this video feel free to like share and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one take care bye